Hey, sweet friends. I am staying with my precious mother-in-love, Sue, this week because she has a brand new hip. She has just come through like a trooper, but I am spending a few days helping her get to her therapy appointments and just hanging around, being buddies. But I've done some thrift shopping over the past several days leading up to this and wanted to share it with all of you. Look at these gorgeous plates. You know, I love blue and white plates. I love the Blue Willow, and I love this series as well. Now, English Village, Staffordshire. I looked them up, and they're pretty valuable. I paid $3 a plate for these four plates, and the one that I showed you did have a little hairline crack on the back, but you know I normally don't care about those things because I, I like to use for display, and I don't care if they are slightly chipped. This bowl is so gorgeous. I have not had a bowl like this in any color. Look at the sheep. Look at the detail. I'm putting my hand up there so that you can see uh, a scale, a size comparison. Now these are not Staffordshire, but Foley wear. And anything that I could find listed, even though it was not the exact same pattern, was um, $50 or more. So I'm not sure if mine is worth that much, but I surely do love it. It's beautiful, and you can see I paid $3 for it, and I plan to use it um, all summer long when I transition my china cabinet and my decor over to the blue and white with the 4th of July Americana decor. Now, this is the one cereal bowl that I found. And these, these were all at the same thrift store, kind of grouped together. And I paid $2. And it looks to be in perfect shape. And there were two saucers. I did not see any of the cups. But that leaves me something to search for later on. I only paid a dollar each for these. And they, um, they're again the Staffordshire. The bowl and these two saucers are the same brand, different from the serving bowl. Now next, do you see the Hummel print? Look how sweet these little children are. I, I don't have any actual Hummel figures or prints, but I have long admired and thought they were so adorable. I do have a couple of uh, needlepoint kits. That's not needlepoint, I think it's just cruel embroidery. Um, $2.99 for this actual vintage piece and you can see that well the print has 36 I'm assuming 1936 is when he probably created this or she is Hummel a he or a she I don't know but the print was done in 1943 look at the little bits of I'm not going to clean that out whether it's mold or dirt or dust or whatever it is, I think that adds to its authenticity, to the vintage look of it. And I'm going to leave it exactly as is. And I was delighted to see that the little tiny rusty nails are used. This is what was used before staples came along. And I think they're adorable. Nobody ever sees them, but I know they're back there. And, and that's just a fun detail to me. I like that. This next bowl is not old, but it will go along with my collection of green ivy transfer wear and print printed china. This is actually made um, for William Sonoma. So it's a good price that I paid compared to what I found the price online at, or listed for. But I just liked it. I didn't have any big serving pieces of that. $2.99. Look how shiny it is. You can tell it's a really new piece. And would you believe, in a totally different town, a few days later, I found another very similar plate. It is not the same Staffordshire 
maker it is a little different and you can see if you put them side by side there's a little different uh, look to the pattern and the color this one is locks of Scotland mm, I'm not gonna try to pronounce <laughs> some of the rest of that I don't know how to pronounce it but uh, it appears to be in perfect shape mine does with no cracks or, or chips nothing at all and I do intend to use it together with these others I don't mind the variety or the mismatched, mix-matched kind of approach. I'm, I'm big on that. Now, I just turned that one plate over again to remind myself what that brand looked like on the back and a sanity check, because I, I knew it was a different brand, but I don't care. <laughs> it's beautiful, and I love a collection that is collected over time and is uh, a little a little eclectic, a little gathered. That's good to me. This little set of books at the thrift store was um, all together in a little plastic bag and I think I've already thrown the bag away and I can't remember if it was $3.99 or $4.99 but they're all quite old. The, the first three books there are older than the last two. Some of them still have uh, masking tape prices, which is probably yard sale prices. But five of those books for around $4, maybe $5. So even if they were a dollar a piece, I was glad to get those because you know how I love books. And I don't often find vintage children's books. Now this lovely curvy piece, this ironstone pitcher that's probably a creamer. I really don't remember what the CP standed for, stood for. Standed, my word. I think, um, I think that this is, it is made in Germany. I paid $1.99 for it, and I don't know that it's particularly old. It might be a little, a little, you know, a couple of decades old. But I wanted to add it to my collection of ironstone creamers and pitchers. Now this is just the biggest, sturdiest for, I think I paid $5.99 for it. It's a great crock to uh, use for my vintage utensils collection. Or, you know, you could put a plant in it. I mean, there's all kinds of things. And it's a good size. You can see again, check those um, bright aqua turquoise fingernails, girls. I was in some kind of mood. <laughs> oh, my toes look like that, too. <laughs> okay, the speckled cups, the enamelware speckled cups. Now, I don't think these are worth $45 each, but I threw that up there because I thought that was funny that someone listed one for that much. But I paid anywhere from $0.50 cents to $2 each, and I found them at two or three different thrift stores all in the same week. I love these, they're calling them placemats. I just don't know. Um, maybe my, maybe I have the tea towels that go along with that same series of placemats, but I mean, I intend to use them as dish towels. They're the Threshold brand, and I like that they're multicolored because they're not going to show stains as much as a solid colored wood. And can you see that they're in this lovely vintage basket? I love this basket. Now, I hope, I would love if this basket was worth as much as these listings I found. Even if it isn't, I'm going to use it. Um, it'll probably be in my bathroom for my little personal hamper. And what I paid was $6.99, I do believe. Yep. And that was in Huntsville at the America's Thrift Store. I went with Mallory. One day last week, she had a doctor's appointment, and I went with her and her girls. We had a great day. It was fun. Now, here are all these things together. <laughs> you can see, um, heavens, my dining room table. I see a bag of popcorn over there. Um, you know, girls, I really have humans that we all really live in my home. It can't be it can't be magazine worthy every angle every minute. Now look at that beautiful 
barnwood door thing. I paid three dollars for it at the Amazon Hope warehouse in Boaz and it has a little base to it that you can let it sit on its own. Now I had to include uh, <laughs> the photo of my little granddaughters helping me that day. They helped me plant this big planter. <clears throat> Excuse me. And <laughs> that big planter I found at the Shepherd's Cove thrift store for $10. And I love it so much. It's 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 one of those big, huge porcelain ones. I love it. I don't know that it'll remain here. Some of these, they're all on the front for right now because I've just planted them and I'm trying to keep them alive. I'm trying to do better than I've ever done. It may end up on my back deck. Look at this planter. Um, oh, I'm, I'm realizing that i got a broom situation going on over here. Now that little broom is just a just a Dollar General, no no good broom. But look at that broom. It's a wood broom that I paid $1.99 for and um, it was falling over so I was straightening it up but it's an old straw broom and I love those well that planter there I only paid five dollars for it and it has the carved look that my buffet lamps that I've had for goodness 20 years <laughs> which I also thrifted those you know so I loved that planter, and it's it's crazy. I never see planters, but I had I had said last week. I hope I find some planters. <laughs> now I look at these plants. These uh, mini petunias came from Hillside Greenhouse in Boaz. Those were just gorgeous. And what I've done here now, my bicycle. I do ride it. I mean, it's it's a normal bicycle, but it has this rack on the back that I attached a basket, and I have my planter sitting down in the basket, and then the wire basket on front is just what's normally on my bicycle. So when I'm ready to ride again, I will just set those flowers, just set them out on the sidewalk. Look at this old toy barn. I can't believe it was also in the Amazon Hope Warehouse, $4.49. I can't decide. I, I do believe it's been handmade and hand painted. It looks really old. I mean, it's at least as old as I am, and I'm 55. Um, I just think it's adorable. It's charming. And these are the toys that I love to have at my house for my grandbabies to play with. I mean, I want to have toys for them to play with anyway. And what better thing for them to do than to play with these old Tommy looking pieces that I come across and that I just very much enjoy seeing those in my home. If, if there's, if you know, if we're going to have something sitting out for the children to play with, let's let it be vintage. <laughs> I don't think they'll tear it up. It's very sturdy. Okay, I had to bring you back to this little moment in time where we <laughs> were showing my daddy how tightly we packed the back of my truck coming home from the beach. And you can see that uh, we stopped at a thrift store on the way home. We couldn't resist. It had some good stuff in it, and I bought... The chairs are my sister-in-law's, but the the table, this this console table, can you believe I paid fifteen dollars? And I knew I knew we didn't have room for it inside the the truck, but I was like, I'm getting this thing home. And Heather said, Well, I want these chairs as well. So we just we had all the straps from my husband's kayaks in that truck, so we just strapped it on. <laughs> we brought them we brought all that home and I'm so glad because I have long admired this gothic shape console table it's, it's very shallow you know not from front to back it's 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 not even a foot deep I'm, I guess but it's perfect for my small foyer and I did put some baskets and different things and I still do love that small shallow little um, table that I was using in that spot so I just scooted it over to the other wall and you've already seen in previous videos that I have that set up and my beach hat just landed there on one of those candle holders and there it is and it's not offending me so it's just there but 
I, we keep our cat food and some other little outdoor things in the cabinet and I didn't want to really take that away from the foyer area because we feed our cat on the front porch. Tom Tom likes to eat out there. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing some of the things that I have found. You know, I'm always on the lookout for vintage things. And I'm always so excited when I find unique things like that little toy barn. That's amazing. I mean, that's a one of a kind thing. I don't, it looks handmade to me and I think it is. Please comment. I'll, do you know that I reply to every comment? If you've commented before, you should go back and uh, see what I have replied if you haven't already. If you click like and subscribe, that's just a bonus. I love to get to know all of you in the comments, and I pray that your life is blessed and the Lord blesses your every day coming and going from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. May the Lord bless your lives abundantly. 